So he knows I'm going to lunch. He knows you're he going knows to lunch. He knows my vibe. He knows how I like to move, and he only sent $30. Yeah. I'm not going to bend over backward for a man that is just sending whatever he can or, you know, um, if... If he's not gonna be my boyfriend, number one, but if I'm talking <laughs> yeah. to him, next time I'm out I'm, uh, and he says, "Oh, you need something for lunch?" I'm gonna tell him it's okay. Somebody already sent me a hundred dollars, so he know that you going for the next job time. Yeah, yeah, you got to because yeah. it's it's better, like you said. The state of the union between the black man and the black woman today is the worst that it's ever been in the history of ever. And I think a large component of the reason why actually has to do with the man, because when the man is not in the household with illegitimacy rates as high as 70%, but when the man is not present, the strength, the familial, the family strength required to ensure structure, to ensure discipline, and to ensure toughness will be lost. You remove the father, well, then it's easier to control you. It's easier to control your family. The government will drip brainwashing into the school system while the music enhances the mind virus. The removal of the father out of the household in conjunction with decades long propaganda ring of feminized media today, where black women, for some reason, have attached themselves to a movement to remove the patriarchy or remove the man from power when the black man has not been and is not in control of anything in the West. You take all those things, mix it up, stir it up in a nice little modern pot, and you get the worst marriage rate, you get the worst divorce rate, and you get the worst illegitimacy rate amongst any race in Western culture today, which has reared its ugly head in a bunch of ugly little factors. We see the outcome of the overmothering and the underfathering. We see the feminization of young men. We see the removing or the shifting of words, meanings, and definitions in order to suit something, to suit a narrative. You see the loneliness epidemic. You see these reaction-oriented men that cannot help but to display themselves in an act of emotionality, in an act of irrationality to solve confrontations or differences amongst their peers. We also see them selecting remnants of their single mothers, releasing seeds into unworthy women, thus creating another cycle of broken home. But wait, not gonna sit here and just remove accountability from the women, because with the women in the modern culture today, it has resulted into this sickening, unaccountable, unrealistic, entitlement modern culture today because see what happens is is that again when you remove the man out of the household another byproduct of that is that these young girls these young women were not able to see how tough it is to be a man how hard that a man would need to work to provide for a household in this inflation oriented society today complemented again with the visual media today that says that men ain't shit or that men are dogs or that men are just good for their dick and their wallets and shit if these women grew up in a household with a mother who was a bitter baby mother who projected the negativity that she had in her failed relationship on men in general, you begin to understand the cycle or the downward spiral of the importance of family, of relationship, of generational wealth, which are all markers of cultural success, by the way, as well as the boundaries that teach frameworks to children that can help them live a happy as well as a joyous life. Because when those boundaries are not there, media will create those boundaries for you. And what media has done is that they've utilized pawns within the same culture to preach degeneracy. And this degeneracy is being sold to millions like hotcakes and various forms of creative outlets. We've seen this throughout our music. We've seen this throughout social media. And this degeneracy with feminism has created a classless entitlement don't need no man culture. Now, let me say this before we get started in the content here today is that I absolutely 
love black women. It's actually the majority of women that I've dated throughout my life. But let me be very clear is that it's a certain type of black woman who sits well within her femininity. She practices modesty. She is exceptionally feminine within her nature. She's inspirational and supportive to a man. Even when that man takes an L or gets knocked off of his pedestal, she's still there for him. These are the women that can sit within an echo chamber and it not come into a man thrashing or a man bashing type of a session when anything is referenced in regarding to masculinity manhood, or just men in general. We see through these women-oriented podcasts that those conversations often end up exceptionally negative within this entitled idea of what has a man done for me lately? And these women wear their arrogance as a badge of honor and even their attitudes as a trophy. Now, as you guys know, I oftentimes on this channel use viral videos in order to go over some of these conversations. And this is one of the very same conversations that I have for you guys here today. And mind you, if we don't do enough to address these mindsets, then they will continue to permeate. Men will continue to go abroad, leaving women with these types of mindsets, single and alone, complaining where did all the good men go? MT Army! Y'all already know it's time to get active on this one, so without further ado... Now that's gonna put us over to our last topic, guys. Y'all ready? <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so this yep. is something that I went viral for okay. a few months ago, and now it's back circulating. A young lady was uh, talking to a gentleman, and he asked her... Um, you know, what was she having for lunch? He was going to send her over some money. And when she checked her cash mm. app, it was $30. Now, the internet is in an uproar because, you know, you got this <laughs> side saying you should be appreciative for whatever the man give. And then you have the other side Ooh. saying, if you know I'm going out to eat and I want an appetizer and an entree and dessert or whatever, send at least $100. Yeah. Right. How do you guys feel? Should women be grateful for whatever a man sends to her. Hold up before they answer this question. So this is similar to like that Cheesecake Factory conversation. And Cheesecake Factory, around $30, I would say, that you have to spend like just on the young lady if it's a particular date. But notice the setup, okay? They're talking. There's an expectation of $100 for lunch. Pay attention to the response. Cash out. Absolutely not. I'm going to say yes. Um, <laughs> whatever he gets. Absolutely yeah, not. The, it's a thing. Be grateful for okay. whatever. Okay, let's just say it's thirty. We're gonna say thirty. We're gonna give the thirty. What's the you're thirty going for? What's you're the going out for? to dinner. Okay, go ahead. With your girl. Wait, is it lunch or dinner? Because it, oh, okay. Okay. I'm making it okay. 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 Okay, I'm grateful that I woke up this morning and I am <laughs> I'm grateful for unexpected miracles and blessings, right? right? Yes. But Amen. thirty dollars to like so he knows I'm going to lunch. He knows you're he going knows to lunch. He knows my vibe. He knows how I like to move and he only sent thirty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it's it, maybe, okay, maybe he doesn't know a woman of your caliber or right. a woman of your, like, how you like to move. So $30 yeah. to him was like that. Let me throw this out here and see if she's okay right. with that, yeah, right? Let me see, yeah. about let me see okay. So you got to be grateful in the sense of thank you, baby. Like, don't make it confrontational. Oh, you should have gave me. And yeah. Yeah. You're not doing yeah. that. Yeah. But it's very much so thank you, baby. I appreciate you. You know, Thank I you, that I am it. very appreciative. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. No, yes. They tell you, but you are not a faithful No, and boy. I'm not even going to say, I'm not even going to say right then and there like, oh, it's a problem. But now I have to move in a way where he knows what I like and yeah. what I expect Correct. and what I do for myself. Correct. Yeah. And if yeah. he sees that I'm moving this way, he's thinking, damn, yeah. I see her. No, I see her nails be this, her yeah. perfume be this just to go out, her hair, Thank her, her, her 
when she go out, she likes a, a, a Lafette Rosé. She likes a, a something that's Not already going to call. Amen. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. You know yeah, you got to show Hallelujah. a you man know, how to treat you. Absolutely. Definitely you got to show a man how they to treat you. Do. So don't make it confrontational yeah. if it's $30. Yeah. Just thank you. Because men love to, oh, she's so ungrateful. But what I, I will know. say is mm-hmm. that people in general have this thing of humbling women. They have right. a thing of, oh, you should be grateful for whatever he can do. Thank no, you, you shouldn't. Absolutely not. Thank you. That's should what I was ne- saying. That's no, what I was no, trying no. to say. I'm not saying, like you said, mm-hmm. be grateful that God woke you up for this morning. Be grateful that God <laughs> provided an extra little thirty dollars for you to, you know, and that's Thank cool. You, but I'm not gonna mm-hmm. bend over backward for a man that is just sending whatever he can, or you know, um, if. If he's not gonna be my boyfriend, number one, but if I'm talking <laughs> yeah. to him next time I'm out I'm, uh, and he says, "Oh, you need something for lunch?" I'm gonna tell him it's okay. Somebody already sent me a hundred dollars, so he knows. Right. So that- before she gets into more of her manipulation, oftentimes I get questions from older people that don't quite understand the dating culture as it exists today, and they just don't get why it is so difficult for young men to be dating or why are so many young men considering legitimately going abroad, getting in a passport, going abroad and finding a woman of value in another country. And I begin to break down the entitlement, the pure and utter entitlement culture that has been bred out of this degeneracy as permeated within the culture. We are legitimately living in a world where dating in the West is dealing with women with mindsets just like this. One of which that will accept your $30 gift, but behind closed doors doesn't like you for it and will continue to accept your gifts, even though she says it right here that you're not gonna be her boyfriend. I often joke on this channel the idea of foodie calls of women who just go up on dates with you just to get meals or act nice with you in order to get free things up out of you. But to be honest with you, what is the difference between that and stealing? If they know what your intentions are. But to be honest with you, what is the difference between that and committing fraud on somebody? If they know what your intentions are, but they're willing to accept something from you, a tangible good from you, but are not willing to give you what your expected or intended result is at the end of it, these people are scammers. These people are fraudsters and should be treated as such. But let's listen to the manipulative tactics that they'll use on their quest to have their lives financed. That Ooh, you're going for the next job. Time. Time. Yeah, God. you got to. Damn. Because it's, it's better, like you said, instead of throwing a fit and, oh my God, right. and, and going on the internet, this nigga did this, that, and the third. It's better to just show him what, what real what, men what, are doing. Yeah, right. Let, yeah. And let me just piggyback Ooh. off of that. <laughs> okay, I want to say, but I see it. Like, so you're not a real man until you can pay $100 for you're asked to go eat at lunch for someone who you're not married to. This is just someone that you're talking to and are dating. That is these women's definition of a real man. It has nothing to do with integrity, morality. It's got nothing to do with your boundaries. It has nothing to do with how well that you are respected when you walk into that room. It has nothing to do with the hard job that you work day in and day out for sacrificing life, limb, and or happiness to be able to provide for the people around you has nothing to do with any of these things having women like this define what a real man is is an outcome of a fatherless generation they have no idea what a real man is except for the fuzzy feeling that they feel when the dude that they're currently fucking sends them a hundred dollar cash app so they can go eat their mangy meal the fatherless generation is resulting in these women treating the men that they're trying to date the same way that the government treats the man if they're not in the household simply as paychecks simply as wallets and it's sad to see See, yeah. 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 Like, I need to put on my notepad. Yeah. go ahead let me, me in that, that situation okay, you know, I, okay <laughs> if we're being completely honest right here right now we've all eaten lunch for 30 dollars yes let's start 100 percent wait well, the thing is, is that yeah you'll pay for yourself for 30 dollars to go eat but your expectation from a man is much higher it's funny how that happens so we're not saying that we're ungrateful Right. Food is food on the table. However, you know what the Correct. standard is. Correct. Me in that situation, handling it with grace. Thank you so much, baby. I'm yes. so appreciative. I'm gonna still take a picture of that bill and I'm gonna send it to him. <laughs> thank you for the thirty. That was the tip. Here's yeah. The What's up? And yeah. then thank and you. And then you paid it by yourself. All you handled oh, no, was the tip. No. That's what I, you I'm need to know. Are you gonna wait for that? I'm gonna wait for that <laughs> Apple Pay, baby. I'm I'm gonna wait for the ride. You're not yeah. paying up. You waiting yeah. on that yeah. Apple Pay to ching through. <laughs> no, but that's that's a huge topic to where. They, everybody want to keep women humble. Why would you right. come to a woman, not saying this is me or anybody, but a woman making $100,000, she go out to lunch and she spend 150 on herself. Why would you go to her and say, oh, well, a man, 
he took her to Applebee's. He can't afford uh, uh, where she wants to go, so she should just be grateful for that. You no, can't she afford shouldn't. that one. Okay, she so never this is my thing. thing. I don't <laughs> even. I personally <laughs> don't make a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, no, not I'm yet. not saying. Not but yet. I'm saying you know, not yet. Not yet. it's coming. Exactly. I'm at ninety nine, but ninety nine <laughs> and a half only. Really What's so interesting about this portion of the conversation is that she's setting up um, parameters for when this doesn't work, right? But it is not actually her or any of these women. None of these women make six figures. So why are you including yourself in the scenario that you are not a part of? It's hard to have a conversation about these topics unless you will legitimately address these discussions with honesty. That was a dishonest way to consider what a woman should expect from a man. And it's also so interesting as well is that women will often shame high earning men from wanting the most beautiful women and call them shallow for doing so. Meanwhile, if that woman is a high earning woman, you will shame that man for providing what he can to that woman. You're so steeped in your bullshit that you can't even come to think through the double standards that you have set up for yourself. Let's keep going. Now, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to accept it. <coughs> I'm going to accept the 30. 30 is probably yeah. kind of like my threshold. Yeah. Because if you send me, if my meal is $17.99 and you send me $17.99, I'm going to send that back. I'm yes. sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm not being, I'm, I'm just not going to be grateful and thankful for anything. Like, you're, you're going to, don't I'm going to heart the message. Yeah. I'm gonna hard it. Don't, That's it. Do not play with me. Do not. I'm sending that seventeen dollars back now. Thirty. I could take that for because if you go to Starbucks, it's twenty four dollars. Yeah. It's Even true. breakfast is damn near thirty dollars. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I go to the storehouse and spend it on pickle eggs and hot yes. sausages. You know, hot sausages. <laughs> right, we can still, we're now. not saying we can't eat with the yes. thirty. But so I'm, we I will accept yeah. it. You guys but beginning I, to also understand why it is so much more profitable to create products for women. Right, instead of considering the ridiculous amount that you're paying for shit, they just go off and buy it. They become a consumer. Meanwhile, they're up to their eyeballs in debt. They're not making the type of income, as what they said before, to even substantiate $25 trips to Starbucks. And they come into these relationships being liabilities, being bills, offering no support while also belittling your manhood if you try to step up to the plate. But I'm trying to tell y'all, please, if there's anything, <laughs> empty army, if there's anything that you didn't learn from anything, you have to stay away from women like this. Not all, not all, not all, but this is a large majority in a dating culture today. Stay far, far away from them. Investing into them, spending time with them outside of anything but, but ain't worth it. Even if it's 50, like start mm. somewhere. I was yeah. gonna say. But 30, why would, at, okay, at what number is it insulting? You know what I mean? This is what I was gonna say. To, to, where you, to where that you question. See, right, where you see me at, that's, it can be a little insulting to be it like, is. he think I'm a $20 bitch? So, like, well, no. well, let me say this. So, for example, my my, <laughs> yeah, man, no, thank personally, you. my man personally knows that <laughs> sometimes I need that extra kick in the morning, right? So, I might need, like, a, a, a coffee, yeah. a, um, a breakfast. croissant, something, and he'll send me $30, right? Hey, baby, lunch on me or whatever. Because mm -hmm. I know on my day-to-day -day when I'm working my job, right. Right. While I'm also working my passion, mm -hmm. right. that thirty dollars get me moving and shaking. Yeah. Right. I think also too, there's a certain expectation with the man that we're dealing with. If it's just you know someone that you probably just met, he may not know. Of course so, not. Okay, the little thirty. Okay, thank you. Like of course, my friend gave yeah. me thirty. I just met him yesterday or this right. morning. He mm -hmm. shot me thirty dollars. That's nice. That's cute. Yes. yes. If you're my man, I'm gonna expect something. The expectation is different depending because on you what's know happening. Me. Yes, depending on what's going on. Yeah. Of course, not. I ain't gonna lie. My man sent me ten dollars right now. Thank you, babe. Cause yeah. I love my man. I love my man. I love everything he do, and he done gave me way more than that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I know mm -hmm. if he was to send the thirty, we gonna go out to eat later. He's gonna cook dinner later. Like th this thirty is just for now, Ooh, just to cook. eat for now. Girl. Oh yes, my man. Cook. Oh, you're not in the close friends. I gotta put you in the close <laughs> friends. My man be cooking for her. My Excuse man throws me. down. Yeah, okay. Um, my it's man not throws. always gonna be. It's, I, I just think. Until, depending on whatever situation, because you might have a man who's making that and it ain't nothing to send $100 every single day to you. Yeah. Or you might be in a Thank position you. where your man is building and he's working, yeah. but he's also wanting to take care of you, whether it be your right. nails, your hair, mm -hmm. um, throwing you $30 for lunch, throwing you $100, getting you hotel stays right. to relax because you had yes. a long week. Masa you know what I'm saying? Read the room, investing in your business. Yeah. My man just got me a, my first MacBook Air, baby. Aww. And... 
<laughs> my man, my man, my right. man, because I, I was living right. the HP life. Right. So I'm telling Ain't you, it, over the little HP it's not. I, I got it for <laughs> myself. The Mac I got is it for upgrade, myself. Though. You but I'm know. saying, just like be appreciative. See what who what right. he's doing and how mm-hmm. he's moving, and you can work with that. Right. Don't be well, ungrateful for you know, all. And let me, also, let me be don't, clear. don't work Go with. with I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> let me just be clear. You have to choose your man wisely. Let's just start there. Y'all be choosing these men out the depths of hell, and when he don't send you that two hundred dollars for lunch, you want to pull. You want to frown. I was about to say. Put that man on blast for no reason, sweetie. You knew he was a thirty dollar man. Yeah, you knew that. <laughs> yeah. Also, men, if you know that you cannot give thirty dollars, or if it's hard for you to give, then you need to date within Don't your. Don't date. You Do can not date. date. No, you can. Do not date. But date with the woman that number Do one does not Just have that expectation, mm-hmm. or number two is in that that range that will love and adore that $30, will save that $30, will frame that $30, will bathe with that $30, will masturbate with that $30. Like, be with that woman because it is a woman out there that will appreciate it and that will love it. But Entitlement, the selfishness, the arrogance of the modern woman today is at an all-time high. You got to think about the decades of propaganda and conditioning necessary in order to make this a comfortable conversation to be having, to be putting out on blast. This is why content like what I upload gets so much controversy clicks, I guess you can say, because we haven't seen men speak up and say what they want ever in popularized media, but we do it up here on a decentralized platform such as YouTube in a way to really critically think about the culture as defined today. Content like this has existed in several different forms to the extent of emasculating men or declaring what a real man is, while at the same time boasting what is probably untrue, men sending $200 for dates. It's almost like when you watch these circles, it's almost like a competition of who has or who can be sent the most amount of money. And my response to those men is like, listen, do whatever you want to do at the end of the day, but are you able to send that money because all of your ducks are aligned? Everything is in order. Your purpose is solidified. Your masculinity is honed. Or are you being a simp, paying for things for ungrateful women that don't deserve it, that think of you purely as a wallet, average earning women expecting you to be in the top 5%. And if you aren't, and are not generous about it, then you are not a real man. Let's take another look. What are men really getting (laughs) for paying $200 for a damn lunch? Very used box, tattoos. You know what I also think? A lot of these women judge themselves of what they look like with the face filters, with all the makeup, with the hair that adorns their head. Uh, that isn't theirs, shaped in baby hairs, or with bodies that may have not seen gyms ever in their life. It's really preposterous to me, but you know, it is what it is. And I think that the more that the mind virus goes without being addressed, the more that people can look to podcast shows like this as a way to be influenced. No wonder there's so many men that are saying, see ya, and they're going abroad. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me go to turtlesandreviews at gmail.com. This mind virus, as I speak about it, the reason why I started this video off the way that I did is that I don't see this virus in any other group culture of women other than black westernized women. Again, not all, not all, not all, but is enough that it has caused a hard division between the man and the woman today. And I'm tired of it. Until next time, YouTube.